I think we are about ready to go. So, looking through the achievements, there isn't much left. But right now, the holdup is, you know, these two bosses with no hit runs. We can copy the save file. I was thinking about this. We could copy the save over to uh, a, a different file. We'll do that anyway. We could use the main file to go through the rest of the game. Because it's really the bottles, right? So then what we could do is once we beat the game, we could go back and take care of these two. And if I need bottles, I could do that. It's still a good idea to just have a backup save. Let's just try normally, I guess. But, yeah. Uh, we gotta be blind without getting hits. And we gotta beat uh, Moth Luck without getting hits. And I kind of was looking into it. Blind is just hit him. You know, there's no, there doesn't really seem to be anything special. Mothra, though, I'm reading that the Fire Rod is the best option. So I'm not sure. Yeah, if I were to try uh, blind, I don't need to use a magic. Mothra's, like, biggest weakness is the Fire Rod. It's also kind of hard to hit Mothra with the sword as it is. I was reading with Mothra, it's really the sword, the bee. And, uh... Actually, I don't want to try to get more magic. The sword, the bee, and the, and the Fire Rod. But I'm reading that the sword is still... No, the Fire Rod is still the... thing that deals the most damage. So we're going to try blind a little bit. If I'm not getting any luck, I may just... I have my backup safe. I may just try to continue. And then come back to these. Although I don't know how much a bottle will actually help me with blind. I feel like with blind, it's just get good. With... Mothra, though, one of my problems could be I have no... I need. I would need to refill on magic, which means have bottles. I can beat them. You know, without bottles. I just have trouble beating them without getting hit. Yeah, you won, Tyler. And what's your prize? Some gold to, uh... Change your avatar? I think that's all it's used for. How's it going, Tyler? What are your thoughts about this? We could just, uh, go back to my backup save when I feel like it. And try to continue the game normally, get the rest of it, and then come back to these two. I feel like we're, we're gonna try the bosses, at least for a little bit. I'm not sure how long. But, it's an option. 
option. Of course, I get sniped. Oh, yeah, I feel like with blind, it's just get good. With Mothra, I would need magic. And it would be nice to have bottles for Mothra in that case. Just so I can not have to go back and forth as much. But that would be the only reason. Honestly, the whole backup save is mo more for uh, Mothra than Blind. Well, what's going on on your end, Tyler? Okay, blind, it's round three for today. Nothing much is happening today, so that's good. Yeah, it's always a good sign when nothing's happening, I guess. Or is it a good sign? I don't know. Depends on what you need to do, I guess. Of course. Of course, I got hit. We're on phase three. Why wouldn't I get hit? You see, my gaming cred is on the line if I don't finish this without getting hit clearly. That's, that's how it works, right? You see, other people were able to do this, why can't I? Again, this would be completely different if I was allowed to use the Cane of Bryna or the Magic Cape, but no, they specifically lock those out. It's easier to attack them. I need to be able to get out of the way. And it's still better to attack from the upper part. I might still end up using the King of Bryna. Probably, oh, I'll probably only use it on that third phase after he moves up. Actually, what if I try to get rid of the first phase before he moves down? That gives me more time on the bomb section. I don't know. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! There's enough knockback where if I attack from the side, I can get out of range. I could use that to my advantage, actually. Oh, did I not get my phone going? I just realized I didn't get my phone going. Hold on. Just in case, you know, I need to glance at something. And, uh, I don't know. I just, it's like a backup way to view the stream, you know. Am I already on a good run? We shall see. Sometimes, you know, taking that, like, coming back the next day is what you need. Okay, 
So if I attack with my side... The knockback is enough. Ah, oh, dang it. I tried. Maybe with the... Maybe I should wait until he moves down after getting rid of the first head. And that might give me enough time. I don't know. I don't know what to try. But I can use the sword on the first phase. And I feel like I would want to get rid of the first head before he moves down. Sadly, though, it kind of resets some of his movement patterns, so he won't move right away. But... So maybe I'm better off getting rid of the first head up here than wait for him to move down. Now let's dodge until he moves down. I don't know. Yeah, I just need to go for it. Well, yeah, who to think, who to thought that the knockback might actually be helping me? Who thought? Let's try it again. I, I can feel it in my bones that we can be blind. Blind. It's not blind. Uh, of course, I get sniped. That's the one annoying part. Freaking laser. Just seems to attack whenever it feels like. Stops for a second and then attacks, but not enough time to really react to where the laser is going to be. You just gotta hope you're not in the way. Now, I could try being at full health. Because the the laser beam works, but it's kind of hard to refill my health in this dungeon. Ugh. Okay. I'm give another target. Decided to start start playing the original metal. Uh, you're talking about, like, the... Not the NES version, but the MSX version, right? And granted, the NES version is slightly different from the MSX version. To the point where you don't even fight a Metal Gear in the NES version. You just fight a computer. Mm. I think I tried dabbling in that with uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 Collection. I didn't beat it. I didn't beat it. I, 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 I think I got lost. But I feel like I should try Metal Gear 2. Solid Snake. Because from what I understand about Metal Gear 2, there's a lot of things about Metal Gear 2 that they kind of just copy and pasted onto Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> And also, Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake is where uh, you do, you fight Gray Fox. So that whole backstory with Gray Fox, Gray Fox happens in Metal Gear 2. But the NES version of Metal Gear 2 is a completely different game than Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. 
Uh, Snake's Revenge, I believe that's what it was called. It is a completely different game. At least Metal Gear 1 on NES is, like, vaguely similar. Oh yeah, uh, how far have you gotten in Metal Gear? This is next been kind of terrible. I think it is. I don't know. I haven't played it myself. I actually own the NES version of Metal Gear. I just, uh, haven't played it. I just kind of bought it at a convention. I'm like, eh, I mean, I like Metal Gear. It's pretty cheap. Why not? Also, I believe the only way to play Snake's Revenge is actually on an NES cart. As well as the NES version of Metal Gear. I don't think they re-released those in any way. Now that I think about it. Because they're not in any sort of collection. The MSX games are on Metal Gear Solid 3. But I don't think the NES games are. But it's funny, you know, you... F in Metal Gear 1 on NES, you know, you're thinking, I can't wait to fight this Metal Gear thing that they keep talking about. And it turns out, no, you don't even fight the Metal Gear. <laughs> you don't even fight it, you fight the computer that controls it or something. It's like, how lame. I don't know why they made that change. They did re-release it as part of the collection thrown with the bonus stuff. Oh, really? Which, uh, which collection is that that the NES games are in? I was actually thinking of booting up. Mill Gear Solid for Retro Achievements. I'm like, that's gonna take forever, so maybe later. Uh. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, I don't know. Maybe this isn't a great plan. The Master Collection was. Oh, that one has the NES games? I didn't pick that up. Or I haven't, anyway. I, I still might. But I heard that the Master Collection, like, doesn't work well on Switch, right? Like, uh, it doesn't run that well? Or, like, Metal Gear Solid 3 doesn't or something? Like, there was something weird about it that I heard. And kind of a lot of my collections are you now on Switch. A lot of my games are on Switch, as of now that I think about it. Um... And there was also a part of me that was, like, very, like, not sure whether or not I wanted to get it digitally or physically. Okay, at least do that. Ah, oh, come on! Fine. I thought I could get it at least another shot. To, it seems to have been patched since I, you didn't have any problems with it. Are you talk, Are you talking about the Switch version specifically? Because I hear it was really a problem in the Switch version. And that was one of those cases where I wanted to wait and see if they ever, like, patched it out. If it was, like, a... You got on Switch. Okay. Well, if it got patched out and there's no issues, uh... Maybe I'll consider getting it on my Switch at some point. Because I do have, you know, I have some of the Castlevania collections. Although I don't have the DS one that, like, just came out. I want to get it, because I want to play those DS, uh, Castlevania games. Oh, come on, the stupid laser. 
There needs to be a better way to tell when he's about to use the laser, but I don't think there is. You didn't check the patch notes? That's just something I need to look into. But yeah, I have the two Castlevania ones. I do have the Contra one. Uh, I played through Contra 1, it was actually rather fun. The NES game, obviously I used Konami code, but like, I managed to beat it. Konami 1, it, uh, like, Contra 1 is fun. Uh, but then I tried uh, some of the other Contra games, and they don't have the traditional comic Konami code. And like, I couldn't get far on the other games. I'm like, wow, like this isn't really fun if I can't experience that much of the game. Oh, come on. I was thinking of just waiting for the laser, and then... I can't figure out this guy's movement patterns, honestly. try this again with full health and maybe that's why I would come back with bottles so that way I have a way to just fully heal myself with like potions so I can try at full health it's actually one of the few times I use Chico to make the game easier because yeah and like 30 the, the fact that the game doesn't really have like continues or something The fact that the game doesn't have continues, you know? Having the 30 lives just lets you give the game a, you know, a shot without having to reset everything. Like, that's the only reason I used it. But, like, the other games don't really have infinite continues or anything. So it's like, once you get a game over, that's it. You're at the start. And it's very hard for me to, like, try to get far because I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But yeah, I, I tried a few Contra games. Uh, first one's fun. The others, I can't really get that far. Doesn't mean that they're not fun, it's just I can't get that far. That's kind of why I haven't tried since. Okay, two hits. There we go. I lucked out there. Oh, uh, yeah, you're drawing going back to Metal Gear series since I haven't played any of them in ages. I mean, I go back to like the first three games kind of often. Uh, because I find them to be fun. I really... Uh, it's, what, two and three are still, like, one, some of my favorite games. Especially three. I like... Okay, I like two. I don't have the ride-in problem, because I didn't, grew, I didn't grow up playing Metal Gear, so I knew going in that ride-in existed. So I wasn't upset that I wasn't playing a snake. But, like, you know, I, the gameplay of Metal Gear Solid 2 was fun. It is a shame that Big Shell is kind of boring, but they kind of made it a point that why it is boring. You know, and freaking hell, like, a script that predicts the future, you know what I mean? Metal Gear Solid 2 still, like, holds up today. And in fact, it, it's like, wow, you just predicted the future, Metal Gear Solid 2. You predicted a lot of things. And Metal Gear Solid 3 is just timeless. Honestly, it's really good. Uh, and you know, I, I played 4 like once and I tried playing it again. Maybe I got hit with like Metal Gear Burnout by the time I played 4 my second time. 
because I didn't finish it, but like four, like there. Look, I know Metal Gear is known for its story, but four just is non-stop with its plot. It's like, okay, I know you're trying to be a movie, but Metal Gear 4 is just a movie. Like, it actually, like, I could tolerate solid 1 and 2, 1, 2, and 3. 4 is a little much. Feels that good to play exactly and there's just so there's so many secrets in those games like in solid one two and three and hell probably four there's just so many secrets to find that there's probably plenty of secrets that i don't even know about so many like context codec conversations be like oh you can get like the special conversation if you stand in this hidden split in this corner in the back of this room you get a special conversation and it's funny like there's just so many things about those games that you could tell they were made with care you know again four does have it too it's just i think it bogged down with like way too many cutscenes as well not only that the ending is two hours the ending itself is a movie through it and I've put in a lot of hours in five but I still haven't beaten it like first of all I'm not I don't think I'm really a fan of fives and portable ops's style of gameplay I like Metal Gear Solid 1 through 4 five is going for a completely different oh, pretty much a completely different genre more or less And I'm just not really a fan of that gameplay style, I think. It feels less about sneaking around, you know what I mean? I, I don't know how, how to really explain my problems with 5. I never finished Portable Ops in 5. I got close. I would say I got close in 5, but like every time like I go to try to... I think it's the mission-based structure. I think that's part of the problem. Like, oh, I could continue with the plot, or I could do the side mission that gets me more troops for my base that... I don't know what, it gets me better items, potentially. Like, oh, I I have too many units. I could swap some, some of my crappier units with some better ones, but I gotta go find them. I don't know. Like, after a while, I, I think I just got burnt out with five. I was in a good shot right there, but no, I had to get hit in the corner with the fireball. No, my shield didn't block it. Okay, try and freaking Metal Gear Solid 3 is getting a remake. Like an actual remake. I think it's a PS5 exclusive one. Be like, geez, another reason for me to want to actually get a PS5. Although, Kojima's not involved, so it makes me wonder if they're actually gonna, you know, do it justice. You do like 5, but I think it just appeals more. Yeah. I, I, I like 2 and 3. Those two are my favorite MGS games for slightly different reasons, but, like, I still have to give 3 the edge. Oh, 
on, the stupid laser. Freaking. Mm, I was. The, it just targeted correctly that time. I'm thinking we'll give Blind a few more tries, but. I'm actually starting to think of maybe skip the no-hit runs on Mothra and Blind, continue with the game, and try to get everything else done, then reset on the other save, grab my bottles, and then get what I need to maybe do no-hit runs on these two bosses. Metal Gear Solid 3, there's just so many things you can do. So many ways to handle, like, fighting everyone, and, like, some, like, cheesy ways of making some fights easier. Like, there's so many things you can do in Metal Gear Solid 3. Solid 3, there's just so many things you can do. Like, for, exa for example, the end. Like, when you go fight the end, you have to do, like, the whole, like, you gotta track him down and then find him, right? And that whole thing. And there's multiple ways of handling that fight. Like, you can capture his parrot, you can use thermal goggles, you track the footprints, among other things. Like, and it's just a sniper battle. But, like, earlier on, there's a scene with the end. And if you have the sniper rifle, like, early on in the game, like, in, within the first couple hours, you can just snipe and kill the end way before the fight happens. And then when you get to that section, because he's dead, you fight, like, a bunch of, like, uh, just grunt soldiers. The fact that there's, like, many ways of handling just that one boss fight alone is insane. boot up the backup save file because here here's my reasoning i was thinking like how could i do well in this fight with bottles and while bottles can't save me from getting hit what it can do is i could get a red potion and let's say i take out the first head uh you know without getting hit i could drink a bottle get to max health and then start shooting lasers and maybe I could get through a little bit easier because I can't attack from range. And the bottles will just make it so I don't have to, like, you know, it, it's very easy to uh, refill, I guess. I don't know. Because I can't use fairies. Oh. <sighs> 
Ah, you see that? The freaking knockback. Right. And with Mothra, it would be nice to have bottles just to refill it. So... What do you think? Do we continue on with the game and then come back for these two on a on my other backup save? And hell, I can have the stronger sword as well at that point. So I come back to these two later. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm just hitting a big brick wall because, I don't know, because I'm just trying to do things arbitrarily. Arbitrary. I'm gonna give blind one more attempt as is, but I think we're better off moving on. Come back to these two and make these two like the final no hit achievements, you know, the final achievements that I need to do. Basically, treat it as cleanup. See what I mean? I did fine there, but the knockback actually pushed me into the fireball. All right. All right. We're going to treat it like normal. I have a backup save. Yeah, because I can use the bottle to... I, I take out the first head. Uh, then... Once that set, once we're on the second phase, I can heal to max health and then start spamming lasers. And that might help me get through. And that might uh, make it easier. So, yeah, we're just gonna treat this like normal. If I get hit, we're continuing. It's not Mothra, it's Mothra. It's Mothra's evil twin. It's just super hard to do it this way. Because there doesn't seem to be a pattern. There we go. We're continuing on. to save, so that works. We'll save these two for cleanup. Scott, because of you, I can escape the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. As the wise man sealed the way to the dark world, the knights of Hyrule defended them from the attacks of evil monsters. Did I read this already? I don't remember. I heard that the knights of Hyrule were nearly wiped out in that battle. You are perhaps the last one to carry out the bloodline of the knights. It is ironic that the last one in the line has potential to become the hero of legend. Surely you can defeat Ganon? Do you understand? May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce? I don't know what this accent is. Alright. Off to Skull Woods. Get rid of Mothua. You see, Mothla was jealous of Mothra because how tiny Mothla is. So she became the evil, the evil twin of Mothra. I mean, I already know, like, freaking this era had a lot of love for, like, the Godzilla stuff. Kaijus. Like... All, Super Metroid, like all of the all of the bosses have like kaiju roars as like the sound effects for like Kraid and uh, Ridley. Like all of them have like kaiju roars. Up and left. But yeah, no. There's Metal Gear Solid Three. There's just so many secrets. There's so many small things you can do in those games that uh, you probably wouldn't even think of, and 
you wouldn't think it would actually do anything, but no, it does something. Dude, the jump from Metal Gear Solid 1 to 2 is insane. Like, I I'm kind of talking graphically. The jump from PS1 to PS2 is that drastic. But that's also... Well, honestly, Metal Gear Solid 2 is just a great-looking game. And it's early PS2. Within the first year. But, like, remember that whole... Uh, there was the whole... Uh, in Metal Gear Solid 2, like, to show off, like, some of, like, what can the PS2 do? Like, in the tanker chapter, there's, like, a bucket of ice cubes. And then you can just shoot the bucket of ice cubes and it will, like, the ice will fall onto, like, the counter. And you can just watch it slowly melt. Like, actual ice. It's like, wow, like, this is, like, Metal Gear Solid 2 is a... Uh, like, it shows the, like, the technology, like, how good it is. How good they were able to do it. The jump, the jump from one to two is insane. And then three is just like, okay, let's take that concept of the whole ice cube thing, and let's just, you know, crank it up to 11. Everything is that bucket of ice cubes, basically. I got hit. Not that it matters. I'm just trying to beat Mothra. Yeah, being at full health would definitely help with Mothra because I would have the laser. Uh, de definitely another way to uh, attack if I need to. Alright. Alright, we got these two done. Well, not the achievements, but the bosses. So, we need to go to Ganon's Tower now. We may do a reset, because one of the achievements is... Okay, I think I've... Yeah, I think... Uh, yeah, Greg how kind of pulls on my remember this. One of the achievements is complete Ganon's Tower without enter without ever entering while possessing a sword. Exiting or dying must start and finish in one attempt entirely swordless. I don't know how this works. Like, can I get my sword tempered and go straight there now or do I need to open the way and then get my sword tempered? Try to wrap it. Had to bail and use the after losing all my health. So, um, none of the diamonds work because you can't use the sword. The hookshot helped a lot. I'm just kind of sorry. You know what? I'll just do this so I can kind of read what's going on. Did quite a bit of damage against Agonim, but it wasn't that bad. We might try the Aghanim with Hammer, but honestly, I want to just try to go for get this done. Just get this done. We may do both that and this at the same time, but this is the one I'm trying to get. Uh, okay, turn your sword and get it tempered in the Dark World. Get all seven crystals before you do this. Turn in your sword while the blacksmiths have it, and they complete the tower. But you need to reload a save if you die. You need to do Gain's Tower one run. Uh, that's kind of what I'm reading. So it will be best to save and quit. It will be best to do that. That way we don't have to do these two bosses again. Again, backup save. Okay, it says 
I know you can't see it, but the little symbol for the achievement is in the bottom right corner, meaning I can do this now. But, again, I'm not sure if I have to get it tempered now or if I have to open the way. We're going to try getting it tempered right now. And then go to Gans Tower. We may try Aghanim with no hits eventually. I don't know if I will need a backup save because it's the same fight. I think there's just more Aghanim clones. We'll see. Hey, welcome! Temper my sword. It's 10 rupees. It's very cheap, you know? Alright. I don't have a sword. See? No sword. Off to Ganon's Tower. I'm gonna have to use, like, the hookshot to defend myself. Or, like, the boomerang or something. I'm gonna get my full health from this guy. There should be a heart container from Ganon's Tower, right? If there isn't, I'm missing four heart pieces. If I'm missing four heart pieces, I'm not sure where they are. <laughs> oh no, I'm not at full health. That means I can't do my laser. I don't even have a sword anyway. Oh wow, Tech Techs can't get hurt by... Hookshot. Probably the bow and arrow. There we go. Made it. Okay. Let's see if this works. I don't have my sword, but can I get into... No. Wait. No, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. That was right. I need to go from Turtle Rock. Yeah, I need to go to Turtle Rock. And enter from that portal. Wait a minute, this thing getting sour? But yeah, it does. Uh, it's in the dark world. Yeah, I need to go from over here. Oh, it's a one-hit kill! On the Tektites with the hammer. At least the blue ones. Yeah, at least the blue ones. You can still break those rocks without your sword, because you're just charging into it. That's cool. I thought it would care if you had the sword. It's Turtle Rock. Off to Ganon Sour. Oh, right, Lionels! I keep forgetting they're in this game. We made it. Scott! We are going to break the barrier to Ganon's Tower with our power. Okay, you don't need the sword. Alright. One shot. No death. Do this in one go. The idea is they don't want you to have, like, if you die, you keep your progress, and they kind of don't want you to do that for the challenge, I guess? Yeah, with your, uh, the bookshot helps a lot, doesn't it? That. 
This would definitely help if I had bottles as well. This could be one I save for later as well. Come back to it later. Kill with the silver arrows. Just in case that happens again. Oh. That's kind of dumb. I didn't realize that would be an issue. Yeah, I didn't realize that would be an issue. Okay. that key Get through right this maze there's treasure here somewhere oh right uh bomb restock. Yeah, there we go. 
Oh no. Hit them once and they're stunned. And I can't do anymore. Alright. I don't want to fall in there. I'm trapped in here. Uh, I can't do anything. Just go through the door. Right, the hidden pathways that I don't have a way to see. I don't have a way to see because I don't have the... I don't have my sword so I can't use the, uh, the medallion. What's up here? Big key, but I don't have it. You know. Oh, that lap wrapped around. I just did a big, big circle. I see. Let's go right then. Treasure! What do you mean? Uh-uh. Okay. Do I need to push one of these blocks? Ah, there's a switch. That requires the cane. There we go. Yay, a full heal. But I don't think I need to stay in there. There's gotta be a reason to wait this out. There's gotta be. Like, why... Why do all that? I went the wrong way. I should have gone right. There we go. Wasting some magic, but that's okay. I'm just gonna wait in the hallway. Oh, you can still get grabbed. I didn't exit the dungeon, so we're still good. I'm still in the dungeon. Okay, we're back here again. Turn you into a fairy. There we go. Get my health back. Waste a bunch of magic by doing that. That's okay. Oh, every time you try to use your sword, that's when the fire attacks. I was wondering why they weren't doing anything. There has to be something in here for waiting this out. No? It's pointless? Okay. Good to know. Magic, magic, yes. stays open. No, it doesn't. I need to go the other way. Alright. Come on. Made it. Okay. Come on, turn magic. That's some magic. Oops. 
explosion like really uh, moves along with the conveyor belt, doesn't it? Come on, magic. Give me magic. No, why would you do that? Oh, that's not going to get it. How come I got it right the first time? There we go. Made it. It only took seven tries. Hey, it's treasure! Some arrows. He really wants me to have bombs and arrows, right? Got some rupees, more rupees. Uh, the compass. Pushable block. Is this useful? Nope. Alright. Down here. Where's this take me back to? Okay. Oh, okay. there we go. And here's the key, which I need. Parts. I think this is one of those cases where you don't have to go into the basement floors. You only go down here if you really want, like, your armor upgrade. But you don't care. I didn't realize it was that. Yeah, I gotta go out and go back in. Wow, he really likes to push me off the edge. What am I doing? I can just use the cape to not get hit. There we go. Use up some of my magic, but that's okay. It was necessary to get through. Should've gone on the edge, I should've gone the other way. I think I want to go back into that room. I think I want to go back into that room with the fairy. Turn into a fairy, get my health back. That's what I'm gonna want to do. Just take me. Great. It's good that I have magic. Oh. Wait, was there a uh, hidden room down there? If there was, I don't see it. I see two spots. Where I could have gone left. Or gone an alternate pathway. I think this is one of those cases where there's actually no way to get up there on the side. my time, but I think I have to. Hmm. Push off the edge. You know what? It must be up here. Oh, wait. 
Can I use my last uses? There we go. That works. That works. There we go. Forgot about that torch. I have no magic. I can't refill my stuff. Dang it. Draining my magic, it's totally gonna work. I think this is something where I need to blow up the floors. Let's try it. Oh, hey, it's you! It's you again. Well, you died of one hit with silver arrows. It's harder because of ice physics. There we go. Still one hit kills. Uh, I forget. Let's try going up. I forget if we want to go up or left. Treasure! That's why you wanted to go up first. Pull this up. Health! Oh my! It's something I need! I'll stab you with the hookshot and bring you over to me. There we go. We have a consistent way of healing, maybe. Not consistent, but you know, there is a way. Yay, more defense. We got the red mail. There are two rooms I missed. And I think it'll be best to get those get to those two rooms. Because I still need to find all the treasure. Could be keys on the upper areas too. Magic? Yay. Okay, I don't need to turn that into a fairy so I can leave it alone. Some magic. I did ask for some magic. Okay, I didn't go in this room. Oh god. We 
kill him with arrows, but... Oh, I shouldn't be here. That's a start. Too bad killing these hands don't actually do anything. One of those must be like some sort of switch. Oh. Still not. Is there really nothing to these to this room? Hmm. Let's try going back like two rooms. How did you hit me? Let's try going back and forth with this. Where's that upper one go? Wait, where did this lead? Oh, it was in here. Okay. Yeah, we didn't get to fully explore this room. And I don't know if there's actually a reason to. just a way out. There's nothing bombable here. Okay. I thought there might have been something. Turns out, no, that's not the case. Good, it reset. I already know the top left one doesn't do anything. I mean, I'll take it. I need it. So how do I get... There we go. No? Just health? Okay, there's nothing in this room. I I don't think there's, like, a extra block I can push for, like, a secret switch. I think this room is kind of pointless unless you want magic. All right. I am missing a key. I don't remember where another chest will would be. But it's not like I need to get every chest on this first run. I could come back to Ganon's Tower, I think. Besides, I probably won't be able to beat the boss without getting hit anyway, so I probably will be doing this again anyway. All right, so... Unless I figure out where that other key is, I think I could just move on. Who knows, it's probably pointless anyway. It might only just lead to a dead-end room again. Everything else might be on the upper floors. Let's try it. Yeah, if you just want your armor upgrade, just go to the lower floor about that. Actually, you do need to go down to the lower floor to get the big key. That is actually a factor. Okay, do that? Yeah. Wasn't sure. to, uh... Actually, I think all I'm forced to use is a bomb. Yeah, just 
barely made it. There we go. Put it away. One of these is pushable. There we go. One way to trap it. I wasn't planning on it like that, but you know, hey, that works. Okay, nothing there. I mean, I wasn't planning for that, but <clears throat> hey, it works out. It's going good, hot corn dog. Uh, <clears throat> I was able to copy a save file, so we just kind of decided to skip the no-hit runs on the two bosses and try to move on. Try to focus on completing the game a little bit more and treat those as cleanup. That's kind of what's going on right now. What's going on on your end? A uh, Doom skin and this whole set from the quest going on. A Doom, a Doom skin for. Is it. Uh, a Doom skin for. Uh, sorry, uh, Fortnite? Or something? Jeez, there's another one. Doctor Doom in Fortnite. Okay. Yeah, when you said Doom for a second, I thought you meant, like, Doom Guy. Fine. You got cheap by hiding underneath platforms. Cane of Somalia. Somalia. for them to drop uh, Doom Guy one day. That would be interesting. They probably would do it. I wouldn't be surprised. There's a hidden plat... There's a hidden platform, is there? Let's go back down. There's my checkpoint. Fall there. Fall there. Okay, it must be like another way. Yeah, there's another path. Because I don't know how we're supposed to get in there. So we have to jump. So far, no extra keys. So I'm probably going to have to go back to the lower floors. Oh, right. This room with the ro with this rotating uh, statue is on a rotating platform. I 
challenge you somehow. Love uh, this uh, this concept right now, don't they? Is the third room like it? Oh, I'm running out of health. Oh my god! Now they just like ice. Okay, I missed. That. Oh well. Um. Is there nothing I could do? Is this all we could do? He was in, in an older battle pass. And they did say they'll stop making battle pass skins exclusive to those battle passes, and now you have a chance to find those skins in the shop. Well, that's nice. Is it one of those things where they're just gonna do like, oh, okay, you have battle passes right now, but in a few months we'll just make it available to you normally. Silver arrows kill these guys in one hit. Man, I wish I had silver arrows when I first did this fight. Okay. Health, please. That's not health. That's not health either. That's something. Oh, great. I have to somehow get through this entire floor without... without dying? Without falling off three times? Four times? Of course, the Battle Pass has better value, just in case you missed a previous season, you have a chance to get them. That's, yeah, giving you a way to get it without paying money, even if you have to wait a few months, uh, that's, that's nice. It just means you miss out on the FOMO, basically. This room I could just run straight through? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, this ain't that bad. Oh, this room ain't that bad. Get some health back. I could really use another fairy, but I would have to go all the way down the basement floors just to do that. Probably better off. Just hoping for a few drops. that there aren't many DLC skins where they come at all. Really? That's an interesting decision. Magic? Well, I get some magic out of this. But I really need... out for me. There was a chance it could have shut up, shut up on me, but, you know, we made it work. Oh, these eyes. Okay. 
Find some extra magic. Down here and up the stairs we go. We checked online and the last DC skin was like two years ago. Huh? Only way to get DC skins is, is if you buy the comics that have the Fortnite DLC logo on. Oh, right. And they have like a QR, not a QR code, but they have like a code for you to redeem with those. Just some sort of promotion one. Yeah. I didn't know that was going to happen. Doing this without a bottle is uh, very stressful. And I can't do this. Now the mana. No, no, come on. I had the right idea. Failed. I failed. Do not save and continue. Okay. Let me think. The reason why I was trying that... Uh, the achievement was, you know, don't die, don't exit, without possessing a sword. Now that I failed this, we could try it again later, when I have access to bottles. You know what? Let's save this one for another attempt later. Let's just try to finish the... Let's just try to finish it. Uh, comments like cost five to ten dollars an issue. If you buy the collection, you get a Batman skin. Oh wow, so fancy! Again, I'm missing a key somewhere, but I don't know where it is. cases where we're gonna have to go through the entire dungeon again so I feel like I just kind of want to try to beat the dungeon as is and you know what the pro you know what since I already failed I should go and get my get back my sword I should do that if I die again we're gonna do that at this point, I'm already here. I'm just gonna get to up. Yeah, if I do this uh, attempt again, but if I have bottles, I should be able to do it. Because I could just give myself a few fairies. Or if that doesn't work, a couple blue potions. even gone too. Actually, you may not even need the cane. Huh. Oh, 
again. Like, there's something over there, but I don't remember how you're supposed to get to it. Still don't have a map. God, I made it all the way to the sixth floor. Hook shots to stun, then shoot an arrow. I don't have to fight this thing, okay. Fine, do that way. I don't get the hitbox of the mirror shield sometimes. I don't get it. Oh my god, I'm almost out of arrows. Uh, I'm wasting. Of guests, and I'm dead. Okay. Uh, I think we'll do the sword with run when I have bottles. So we're gonna save and continue. We're gonna go get my sword upgrades. stuff we could do with Gans Tower. Okay, let's go get my Tempered Sword. I was gonna say, maybe I should create a different backup save, but nah. Nah. I don't think so. I don't think that's necessary. Alright. So now... Let me take a look. 
get all treasures, which I still need to do, all maps and compasses, which I'm missing the map. Uh, this progression. Yeah, uh, I don't think there's any reason to not have the golden sword. So let's go and get the golden sword. There's no reason not to at this point. It's not going to hurt anything. Since we're saving that Ganon Sour run for later. And now I don't need to worry about arrows. sword. There we go. Now let's go to Ganon's Tower. Get all treasures. Defeat Aghanim without the sword or the bug net. Basically requires you to use the hammer. And I think that's about it for Ganon's tower that I can do right now. Alright. Up here. Now I can actually defend myself. Let's get a full heal. Honestly, going through Ganon's tower was not that bad without having the sword. It's just, if I had like a fairy or like a few potions, I could have made that work. So, that's not that bad. But for right now, it's best to probably just continue. Again, I would make a suggestion of say, uh, do two runs of this game instead of trying to do them both in one go. Stupid enemy blocking the fairy. You messed me up on my full heal. I don't like these guys. There's no way to kill them. Just in the way. Forgot to log into Strike Force yesterday, so you lost your streaks, so you don't get bonus rewards for the next six days. Ah, uh, it happens. Uh, I don't remember. I know Dissidia had a login bonus, but I don't remember if it did anything where it's like, oh, log in this many days in a row. No, I think it just gave you rewards, like, uh, it just gave you rewards for logging in. I don't remember if it had a, uh, you lose the streak sort of thing. Sometimes there were login rewards where, uh, it's a limited time login bonus thing. You don't have to get them all in a row if you miss a day, but it is, a, it was a limited time. I actually don't remember if Dissidia ever had any of the... any of those. I still don't know why it went... Uh, it got shut down. I still don't know why. It's something I need to look into. 
Oh, by the way, I saw that. Mi I actually watched the Minecraft trailer. No, it looks. It, it does not look good at all. Like I didn't have high hopes to begin with, but now that I actually saw the trailer, I'd be like, oh no, this is worse than I thought. Like, with the comments, I'm not seeing anyone like that movie. No one really likes it. Although, like, if you look at the like to dislike ratio, it's like split half and half. you get rewards for logging in and there's also a login streak where if you get all seven days you'll be able to sim raids get extra points on battle pass and extra milestones okay so there's like two different ones it looks like that modern jumanji movie they made a lot of that's a lot of people people make a comparison to that movie a lot uh but at the same time the jumanji movie like the idea is that the live action characters were just avatars for a video game that the kids get sucked into and they take control of that avatar character, right? Uh, it just seems like they're just taken to another world, you know? They just, they've been isekai'd. And I just don't see the point, like, what's the goal? Are they just trying to get back home or something? I forget what lights up. Okay, if there is a hidden pathway here, I want to know where it's at. I'll waste my magic. Okay, it really seems like there's nothing... Uh, there's no hidden pathway. But there is something there. Something people have been pointing out. Like, I like Jack Black, but people made the point where it just looks like Jack Black is just being Jack Black. And I give Chris Pratt shit for just playing Chris Pratt. And yeah, Jack Black just kind of seems like he's just being Jack Black. I mean, I know Minecraft Steve doesn't really have a character. But it's not really a excuse to just be like, hey, Jack Black just gets to basically not actually act, you know? If that makes sense, I don't know. Sure, at least just had a fantasy story instead. Like, why not just have it be an animated movie? Just be completely animated. Get rid of the live action stuff. Or you actually do the Jumanji route where they get sucked into Minecraft and they take over like the avatars. That works too and just have the majority of the movie then be animated. But no, they did the worst route. I have no hope for that movie. 
And I'm not that big a fan of Minecraft as it is. Don't hate it, just not really a fan. Also, speaking of video game stuff, uh, I don't know if you heard, but I think Amazon is supposed to be making a Yakuza TV series. I'm like, okay, that can work, but the caveat is apparently the actors were told, uh, don't play a Yakuza game. Don't do it. That's not a good sign. <laughs> That just sounds like they're just gonna change everything about the, you know, the franchise and the story. You know what I mean? It's just like, man, Yakuza could actually work. But no. Uh, you're not giving me much hope. Now. Since Henry Cavill, Hollywood has been hard set on making sure their actors don't know anything about the source material. Yeah, pretty much. Because he was a fan of The Witcher. And he wanted to actually be accurate to The Witcher. But the writers are like, no, 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 we're just gonna make it up. We don't want to listen to you. should be a spare key somewhere. Oh, look, it's Moldorm. We're here again. There he is, just ready to knock me off. But at least he takes two hits. Open this chest. There's another pathway. Hold on. I need to fall off. And there's something down here, isn't there? I saw the fairy. It's the way back up. You get back here, I want my health. I don't think killing any of these guys is gonna spawn like a treasure or something. But we're gonna try. Still missing another key. If these guys just infinitely spawn, can I just, like, fully heal this way? Did they not think about 
that. I think these guys infinitely spawn. Yeah. You know what? Going down here is a way to heal up. And Moldorm's back. However, I don't think I need to uh, actually kill him. Treasure chest is still there. Yeah, it is. We don't need to kill him again. That works. Alright. There's a key I'm missing down in the bottom floor, or something. Let's try to go with the hammer. <laughs> it's great that you came all the way here, Scott. I'm very happy to see you again, but you better believe that we will not have a third meeting. Prepare to meet your doom. get hit, I don't care. Actually, there doesn't seem to be one for being in without getting hit. Let's just uh, try to knock, ba knock back his projectiles with the hammer. reflect all the projectiles. Beat him without using the sword of the bug net. Oh no! It's the true person that kidnapped the mate. We already knew it was Ganon, didn't we? I mean, his statues were everywhere. Okay. How did that bird get to the dark world? Alright, let me take a look. We still need to get every treasure chest in Ganon's tower. If I have to reset to the other file, that's fine. We still need all the treasure chests in the light world. Ba the bottles will count towards that. Defeat Ganon without being harmed. But really beat him, uh, beat him with the silver arrow. And reach the Triforce without any bottles. Yeah, okay. You know what? Let's go for it. Uh, 
just give it a go. Final boss. I never imagined a boy like you could give me so much trouble. It's unbelievable that you defeated my alter ego, Agatha, the Dark Wizard, twice, and without your sword, no less. But I will never give you the Triforce. I will destroy you to make my wish to conquer both light and dark worlds come true without delay. It just says we need to kill him with the silver. So we can use our sword for most of it. We're gonna need like the lantern or the fire rod here later. No, fire bat. Okay, I got hit. I don't care. I don't care about not getting hit right now. We can fight him at any time. Final boss is in infinitely replayable. I know I'm not at full health, but, you know, we're doing okay. Uh, we have to get through this text every time we want to fight him. That's kind of annoying. He's gonna use this attack all the time now. He's not gonna throw his trident anymore. Trapped in here now. Okay. Too bad you can't hit him with the bow. I think he can only be hit, hit by the sword. I think that's the only way to actually hurt him. This phase. It doesn't take long to get here, that's for sure. Oh, sometimes it will just uh, go in the direction you're facing. Not actually target where you are hurt. Yeah, get rid of more platforms. Go ahead and do that. You're doing well, lad. But can you break through the secret technique of darkness? On guard! It's not that bad. It really isn't. Now I just need like a full heal. With Ganon his son, give him his last moment with a silver arrow. Do you understand, Scott? I do. 
Okay, I need to like full heal. Okay, what can I do to get full heal? You know what? Okay. We could probably go to a fairy somewhere. Meyer has one. I'm trying to remember where the fairies are. Um, I kind of wish there was an easier way to just heal up. Again, I, Misery Meyer has one. But, is there one? Yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll just go to Misery Meyer. Cause that's the only one I know of right now. Jeez, you came. Uh, the bird came to help me out to get me from Ganon's Tower to the Golden Castle, but no, won't work now. Bird's too scared to go to the dark world. And I'm missing hearts. I am missing hearts. You didn't get a heart you don't get a heart from Ganon. Four heart pieces are somewhere else. I don't know where to look. I'm getting more magic. I need magic. Where can I go to get magic? And what was in here? Oh! Okay, there's one right there. Good to know. Okay, but magic. Let's see. Okay, um... I feel like I just need to get rid of these little blobs. I think that gets me magic. No, we can draw magic. Can you use magic powder? That's one way of killing them, but... Yeah, uh... Gonna need more bow- uh, more arrows, too. But I think I'll be fine for right now. I just know I need the magic. I know that much. Come on, drop the magic. Drop the magic, I know you can. Makes me want to set uh, a uh, mummy on fire. But more likely to drop magic. Yeah, if only I can remember where I can get magic. Without a bottle, obviously. What is it, like a 5% drop or something? Is there a room that could just easily fill my magic up? Just right away. I'm trying to think. But memorize. I just kind of wish the fairies would just heal your magic, too. I feel like I'm wasting time. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, there's gotta be someplace else. There's gotta be someplace else I can restore magic. Um, I can't think of any of the dungeons. You know what? We'll, we'll just try the fight. Sewer ain't gonna help. I don't think the sewer will help. I don't mind not being at full health, but it definitely helps. attack him either from the side or from below. Not from above. Eventually I'm gonna have to do this one day. My darkness. Yes. Obviously, you need to do stuff like no hits, but we beat them without having bottles. Beat oh, yeah, a leaderboard. There's a leaderboard that popped up, be like, hey, beat the game with as few deaths as possible. Of course, I didn't really make it that high on there, but you know, it's there. <laughs> I'm the essence of the Triforce. Triforce will grant the wishes in the heart and mind of the person who touches it. I can't speed through this. If a person with a good heart touches it, it'll make his good wishes come true. If an evil-hearted person touches it, it grants evil his evil wishes. The stronger the wish, the more powerful the Triforce's expression of that wish. Just don't send Oolong here. He'll just wish for panties. Gan's wish was to conquer the world. That wish changed the Golden Land to the Dark World. Gan 
Ganon was building up his power so he could conquer the light world and make his wish come completely true. But now you have totally de destroyed Ganon. Totally. His dark world will vanish. The Triforce is waiting for a new owner. Its golden power is in your hands. Now touch it with a wish in your heart. that being the Royal Rings. Now look, the king's alive. Remember, his skeleton was at the intro. Royal Sage. I guess the Sage is alive now? Oh yeah, I think that's the... I think the wish was to bring... Uh, it, it probably is something along the lines of bring uh, peace to how it was before basically his adventures, more or less. Sahasara's homecoming. Well, Sahasara's still alive. It's probably like, bring things back to how it was before Ganon or something, I don't know. That's the only explanation of why the king is alive. And, uh, the priest. You know, that's like the only thing I can think of. And your uncle's alive, too. We must have gave him our fighter sword that we replaced. I'm definitely gonna have to pull up where the last four heart container heart pieces are because I don't know where they are. We need that, we need the four bottles. We need to go back and get the last couple treasure chests in Ganon's tower. Assuming I can get them. I should be able to, it's not missable. Okay. All treasure chests in Ganon's tower. No one's saying anything, so I probably just missed a key in, like, a skull somewhere. I can't speak through this. You know, Link to the Past is a great game. Definitely don't have enough time to do Randomizer Run. Uh... Definitely not enough time. So we're just doing the achievements. Maybe we'll save a randomizer run for, like, uh, if I ever feel like I need to do a one-off somewhere or something. Or, like, something. Oh, I need to play, like, a short game for, like, two days. Let's just boot up a randomizer. So why not? Because lately with Zelda, it's mostly just been randomizers for me. But, hey, I didn't know about retro achievements. So probably would have done that route if I knew about it. again forever believe me it sleeps forever except for zelda one because this game takes place before zelda one and you get the master sword i think this game's a liar unless that's a different master sword i doubt it though can't speed through this. I should reset, but... Hey, we get to see my total deaths <laughs> eventually. It's kind of like I'm letting it play. But yeah, okay. 
So while letting that play, the few achievements I have to get left. The no-hit runs on Mothra and Blind. Still need to do those. Open all treasure chests in the light world. Not including dungeons. Get the four bottles. Obtain all maps and compasses, which I'm basically just missing one. Tower. Open all chests in Ganon's tower, which I'm missing one. Uh, defeat Ganon without being harmed. Honestly, that one isn't that bad, but then I'll I'll have access to bottles. Hey, Molly. Mm -hmm. Complete Ganon's tower without having the sword, and you must do everything in one attempt entirely swordless. Not that bad. I'll have access to bottles, so I can have the fairies. Obtain all key items, equipment, and their upgrades. We're going to be working on that. And enter the Chris Houlihan's secret room. I need to look up how to do that. I need to look up how to do that. Let's see. I know it's like a one wrong warp glitch. That's basically what it is. Apparently this room was taken out of the GBA remake of Link to the Past. It's only in the Super Nintendo version. Okay, I'm getting an idea. I think I know where I need to go. Tree. You place a bomb? And I'm guessing you try to hit the flute as soon as you get hit. Okay, I think I'm getting the idea. I'm gonna have to just try that later. history. Here we go. Uh, Castle of Hyrule, I did not die. Castle Dungeon, I did not die. East Palace, I died seven times. Desert Palace, I died two times. Mountain Tower, I died three. Dark Palace, I died once. Swamp Palace, seven times. Skull Woods, I died zero times. Thieves Town, 77 times. <laughs> Ice Palace, 19. Misery Maya, three. Turtle Rock, 61. Gans Tower five times. Skull Woods, I... It, obviously, I reset a few times. That's what happened. 185. There's definitely more than that. <laughs> definitely way more than that. I wanted to see that number. Freaking no-hit runs keep ruining my, you know, my streaks. Great, the cat wants something. All right, I'm going to reset. I'm going to go refill my water and uh, figure out what the cat wants. Maybe let the dog out. Be right back.
Back. All right. Let's start working on. Oh my god, they actually keep your kill count on there. Okay. Time to do cleanup. Let's go ahead and start with getting my bottles that I right rightly deserved. And we get to keep them this time. dumb that we needed a bottle for it, but we can't really do it, use it for anything else. Alright. Two bottles. Okay. Uh, let's take this pathway. Go to Dark World. No. Now we need to go to the Smithies. Because the key is locked inside the chest. You can never open it. Just take it with you. How is the key inside the chest? How does that work? Like, I I'm sorry, but you somehow locked the treasure chest with the key inside it. So how'd you lock it? Unless you used a locksmith to lock it you know, face. Okay. Oh, wait. You can't dash. That's right, you can't dash.
Popcorn Hunt, explain to me, how do you take a tre- how do you lock the key to the treasure chest inside the exact same treasure chest? Did you, like, take a locksmith to lock it without, you know, needing the key? You know, the same way as we're gonna unlock it right now? I heard you. I heard that you know I used to be a thief, right? Well, I'll open the chest for you. But you keep it a secret from everyone else. I promise not to tell. I get a bottle. Maybe a second key, like a skeleton key, maybe. Just saw a post saying we were all busy this week. Cruise we reached Concord again. What? Oh, as in like no one played because. You know, they had other stuff to do. Okay, I get the joke. Like, do it again, I wasn't looking. Okay, gonna heal up. Okay, we healed up. What is in here? I don't remember. I don't remember what's in here. What was this? Tri How did I not have this? I thought I would have had this. Maybe it was one of those resets. Okay, I'm missing like three che treasure chests in the light world somewhere. It's a good thing I double checked this place. <laughs> Stupid bird. Get out of here. Okay, so there's three treasure chests in the light world somewhere. I have to go find it. All right, now let's go get my last bottle. Okay. The bridge again. Talk to you. Give me my bottle. We have all four bottles. Yay. We have everything. Perfect. Okay, let's see. Um. Obtain all key items, equipments, and their upgrades, which I think that means we need the last set of heart containers. Um. I need to look up the missing ones. Pulling up the list of treasure chests for the light world. Take a look. Let's see. I'm pretty sure I got those, but we could check. Oh, here we go. We're going to do a lot of exploring. Try to clean this out. I should also fill up with my bottles. I'll do that later. Alright. Let's figure out which three treasure chests I missed. So there's some down here, which I already got. Oh! I didn't see that. I should have saw that. There we go. Two more treasure chests somewhere in the overworld. Three. 
three heart containers. Let's see. Let's double check everywhere. We have all four of those. And up here, we already opened that. That's fine. Oh. I don't think I knew about this one. Or I just never went back into the freaking building. That would make more sense. It is... Not that one. This one. I guess that's supposed to be... Oh, okay. I just... Didn't... I probably just never noticed. I don't think I ever noticed that. Or maybe I forgot this run. I don't know. Ten, ten arrows. One more treasure chest somewhere in the world. Let's see. Okay. There's the three chests. Uh, basically where Sahasara is. Pretty sure I got those, but we shall double check. Let's take a look. Oh, speaking of Concord, uh, I heard something. So there's like a new trailer for the new Mario and Luigi game. I think I heard the island that you go to in that game is called Concord. I don't know if that's true. I didn't watch the trailer, but I heard something about that. And if that is true, that is... That's kind of funny. Okay, yeah, we already got those. Looks like I did. Yeah, okay. Double checking. We got the one Swamp Palace, basically. We got we just got that one. We got the ice rod. I think we got that one. Wait. It was in the cave of Northwestern Perch uh Desert of Misery go inside. Access the eastern part of Death Mountain, the light word by hemming the post on the east. Drop down to the bottom. So the part of the book for a single cave to the southeast corner. Go inside, dropping down to land you a floor below, then bombs the north wall to find these two chests containing bombs and arrows respectively. I think I got that one. In the same cave. Okay. Again, we're missing one treasure chest somewhere. It's possible the rest are in Death Mountain. Okay, there's only a few spots to check. Streamlabs must be cheating, probably. Probably is. I am pretty sure I have this one. But we're going to check. Seems like the rest might be on Death Mountain, though. It's one chest, though. So it could be that 50 rupee one. 
Yep, got it. Okay, I think it's on Death Mountain, and I think I know exactly which one it is. So I need to get on the Easter side. Which I can do this normally, it's not much of an issue. Probably head back to Gans Tower at the same time after doing this. Wait, did I ever go in here? What was in here? Like another entrance. I don't need to do, uh, go on this side, I don't think. I'm missing more hard pieces. So I'm gonna have to look those up. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Fortnite would be cool. Hey, not even for a Jonathan skin. Jonathan. Uh, okay, Joseph would make the most sense. You wanna know why? Because in part two, he just randomly pulls out a Tommy gun at the beginning of part two. We don't know how he got it. He just did. And he only used it once in that bar fight. <laughs> so that would actually make sense. And hell, like, there are plenty of characters that actually use a gun as their stand. Or stand, or the stand is involved with the gun. Like, you have Whole Horse uh, and Mista, for example. And I believe Gyro... Wait, does Gyro use a gun? No, I don't think he does. But there are a few characters in JoJo that do use guns. And it would work. And jo Joseph just pulls out the Tommy gun. That works too. Okay, no, I got that one. Okay. If it's not that one, then... There's only a few places where I missed. <laughs> so supposedly, we need to go all the way over here. Yeah, this room again. Okay, I already got those two. We we'll probably use Jolene for the next part to advertise it. Most of the time, when they collab with Fortnite, it's to advertise their shows. Must work even if it's working on Fortnite. Nowadays. Right, um, so in that case, currently it would be Jolene, but part six is done. Okay, wait, we got everything. Got everything here. Wait a minute. Okay, what am I missing then? Got that. Magic cape. Oh, it might be that one. Okay, we need to get to the top floor. Oh, we probably need to enter from the dark world, don't we? Yeah, we need to get to Turtle Rock again. Okay. I think I know exactly which one we're missing. But yeah, uh. Or two. I don't know. But yeah, uh, right now it would be part six, but part six is currently done, at least the anime is. So if they wanted to advertise JoJo, it will probably be whenever part seven gets animated. So it would be Johnny Joe Star. Or Jot. It would be Johnny Joe Star, Gyro, Sabelli, and. Let's say if they do four. So it would probably be then Funny Valentine. Unless they don't want to spoil Funny Valentine. Then the other option would be uh, Diego Brando. 
you can have him turn into a T-Rex. But if it's just two, it would probably be Johnny and uh, Gyro. Although, I don't know how much John- I don't know how well Johnny would work in Fortnite, considering that he's crippled. <laughs> uh, you- he has to be on the horse. That's his whole thing. He, like, he can't- he can't walk. no way to walk. He, he just rides the horse. Okay, there's gotta be a way back up. I might have to use the flute to get back up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use the flute. I don't remember how to get back up. Okay, there's one other option I could try to get back up without using the flute. So yeah, I, I think advertising JoJo for Part 7 might be a little bit harder than we think it would be. Probably be a little tough. Oh, okay. There we go. That's how we get back up. Turtle Rock it is. Give him Robo Legs. That doesn't work! <laughs> There's no way for him to get Lobo, uh, Robo Legs. It's like 18-something. <laughs> Toph can drive a car and trick shot. Johnny can use Robo Legs. Okay, at least Toph can, like, see metal. So, and somehow she cheats and, like, you know. Uh, Toph being able to see, I can buy. Somewhat. Like, th there's workarounds with Toph. Did not think I would be back here in Turtle Rock. Uh, we need to find an exit. And it looks like it's gonna be... Uh, one of those two checkpoints. I still haven't finished reading part seven. Uh, I was reading it online and I just kind of never finished it. I don't know, I'm just not the biggest fan of reading my manga online, but you know, I just want to for your watch along. Oh, well, thanks for stopping by, Monsai. Uh, we're just kind of doing cleanup. I already beat Ganon, so I still need to do some of the other stuff though. Like, I still need to uh, do the no-hit runs on some of the bosses. We just kind of decided, I copied a save, we move forward. But yeah, you're watching more uh, Battle Network anime, correct? shows up. Oh, okay. I see. I've watched a decent amount of Food Wars. Uh, I enjoyed what I saw. Uh, I know I didn't watch all of it, I, although I think I've watched all I could, but there just wasn't some of the new seasons. I heard Food Wars is an example of, like, the creator was told to continue the series longer than where he wanted to. So it just kind of goes nuts in like the final season. 
will somehow find Game Center C CX episode. What is that? I have never heard that before. I have never heard of Game Center CX. Japanese variety show still going on this day. Oh, okay. Okay, so I think we want to go out this way. The main feature is Arino's Challenge. What's Arino's Challenge? I took the wrong exit. The whole show is hosted by a comedian, Arino, uh, Shinya Arino. Okay. Oh no, cheap viewers! No thanks. Uh, he has to beat a classic game within a limited time frame with the help of the staff. What do you mean by classic game? Like, NES? Like, is that what we're, we're talking about? It was one of those earlier ones. <laughs> Famicom, Mega Drive, PS1. Oh, really? And you said it's still going? Is that, like, the only thing he does? Or is it, like, other stuff he does? Either way, his goal is to see the ending. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. There are other segments. Is that, like, uh, the most popular segment? Or is there, like, other segments that are also good? goes to a game arc okay he goes to an arcade with a goal in mind just looks around like what type of goal like play a specific game or try to find a specific game for the arcade or like what No, no. Let's go back to Turtle Rock. I just had to put it on the wrong spot. It's so dumb. Okay, whatever. Time to go to Turtle Rock again. And then there's I want to meet this person. Again, how does that work? What is that segment? If someone will write in saying, hey, I found this arcade machine called Hang On at this game center. You should enjoy the full body experience. So the point is to then try to go find that machine and play it. Again, the bits don't sound that interesting, but maybe, like, the comedian works as magic, you know what I mean? So it goes with that being the end goal, but wonders about it. Again, that doesn't sound that interesting, 
like as a concept unless the comedian just really like is really funny i guess i don't know like it's one of those things where i probably just need to see a bit or two to fully understand like here but it's still kind of annoying. It's more fearing of comfort and nostalgia. And he does crack jokes. Enjoy the games. Okay. It started in 2004. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know. Like, it's, it's something I feel like I would just need to watch a few bits. It, it does sound like Let's Plays a few years before Let's Plays were a thing. It does sound like that. Come on, get, get back here. I don't know, maybe it's one of those things I need to look into. Okay, we want this entrance. There we go. Just watch an episode of season two. It's on there. Okay. Yeah, it's probably just one of those ones where it's better to just watch to understand instead of just trying to explain it. Especially if it's one of those cases where the comedian makes or breaks it. That is the last treasure chest in the light world. And now we still need two more heart pieces. All right, have a good day, Monzai. I'm gonna work on wrapping this up. Well, I'm gonna try to anyway. Let's see. We could go back to Gan's tower. Oh. Thanks for the 69 bits, Monzai. Noise. It's always nice to have the funny number in bits. But thank you. Thank you. Right now, let's go meet Gen's tower. Is there a quick way we can find the last two heart containers? I don't need to. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and... Let me go find a list of heart containers. We'll go right there. Missing two. Lost Woods. Into the Lost Woods through the entrance to the north. Fortune Towers have proceed northwards till you see the Dead Thieves Cave of Tree Stomp. Maybe that one? Maybe that one? Kind of just looking through right now. I think we did the the maze mini game. I think we got that one. Yeah, I think we got the one in Desert Mystery. We got the one at Zora River. Climb up the ladder. Once you enter the top, go right until you see Spectacle Rock. Jump off the ledge to a cave on the right and enter it. I think I did that. First time House of Lumberjacks, I did that. South of Haunted Grove. Okay, yeah, I remember doing that. I did that. That one is the Pet Cemetery. I did that one. Game of Chance, I did that. Did a game in a game, I made sure to do that. 
face of Death Mountain, Dark World. Oh, okay. I know for a fact I didn't do that one. Face of Death Mountain, but you see it. Picture. You cannot access it. Enter the cave, follow the path to be. Yeah, okay. Okay. I have two in mind at the very least. But I also need to go to. Ganon's Tower for, like, one more treasure chest. Well, let's hope it wasn't missable. And if it was, we have a backup save. Let's just go back out the way we came. That's cheap. That was cheap. <laughs> okay, be that way. Oh, platform stops. Interesting. I didn't think the platform would stop. Alright. Now to Ganon. Ganon's tower. One. One treasure, basically. gotta be downstairs somewhere we already went through the very top there must be a hidden key somewhere on the bottom floors I gotta look everywhere I gotta check like every pot basically make sure every enemy is killed again just in case one drops another key so that's at the point where we're doing right now. That's what we're doing. I think. Double check for one key. Pipe? Yeah, I guess so. The last... The last chest hunt is always the fun one, isn't it? Especially since it's just for a map. Go 
up here. Place a bomb. Nothing else to this room. Okay. Let's back. Okay, you know what? I better check these. Nothing over here. Just double check. That just leads. Yeah, that just leads back there. I know I need to take the bottom left one. I guess I missed my opportunity to take that left platform right there. Leads to a bombable wall, which I already did. Let's just hope there's no other treasure chest in there. Or else I'm gonna have to go all the way around again. I don't care if I die. This file has nothing else to prove. I already know I checked this room already. I already know there's nothing here. I, don't, I made sure to double check that one. Was oh, this one? Yeah, that's a dead end. To the left is. Uh, the left is the, uh, the big chest. We'll be back in this room later. I just know it. Okay, push these. There's no hidden bomb on the wall. I keep running into spikes. Back here. Double check all of these blocks right here and see if any of them are pushable. If they are pushable, you can be pushed in any direction. Okay. There's nothing to this room, I already know that. I'm just worried I, like, wasted a key. Like, to get in that room, you have to use a key to get in there. But in there is also another key. So it would technically be missable. down the bottom path because this path all this does is lead to here which 
can't bomb anything. some magic. There we go. What do you mean that didn't work? Perfect. Magic. Bombs. One of the chests was... Blocks was movable. Fine, we'll go that way. It was this one. That does nothing. Okay. Can't really do anything. The compass was in here. to this room. The other option is up the stairs, now that I think about it. It was in one of these rooms up here, where I had to throw the bomb at the... Wait a minute. There's a door there. Right here. There's a little pathway right there. Why? Maybe I need to go up the stairs. Nothing to bomb. Okay. Check the other side of this section. Oh, come on. Die. Fire wand, let's go. go. Got them out of the way. Made it. Thank you. 
No. There's that one chest. No bombable spots anywhere else. Yep, okay. Go down here. Checking this room. This is where the big key was. And three treasures. Nothing. Take the left route. Up here is a fairy room. And I'll go ahead and throw one in the bottle. Fairy, keep it involved. Taking all key items, equipment, and their upgrades. Are you implying that I didn't have a fairy in a bottle, or I feel like that's wrong? Or did I reset the fairy? No, I, I think I just got a glitched uh, achievement. <laughs> I feel like that one wasn't supposed to proc. I mean, we'll keep it. I'm not gonna delete it, <laughs> but I think that one wasn't supposed to proc. I'm still missing all the treasures, so still have to stick around. through. There isn't like a hidden pathway somewhere. That would be kind of stupid to throw a hidden pathway. Okay, this is the room I was thinking of. But I don't know how you would get through. these. I already tried all the medallions before. They don't work. Somalia doesn't help. Cape doesn't help. You know what? Um... There's a way into that uh, into that section. I just know it. Oh, I forget about this. I forget about that all the time. Fairy room. 
power? Oh, this is a good room. Seems like that's all there is to that room. Okay, that's a good room. like the... No, we need to go up higher to check. Alright, I didn't check all these. I know I didn't. Checking. None of them's a key. I feel like this is a case where I messed up. I need to go in that room first. Because there's a key in there. So Louise has it. Magic health. the stairs. I already know none of these have it. Okay, let me check. No, we need to go up to the next floor. I have like thoroughly checked through Ganon's tower many times, and I think I I think I just messed up. Get out of here. I don't need to deal with you. 
This room. Yes. There is something here. At least the map makes it seem like there is. There is a little notch right here. I... Maybe there's just... Maybe that's just a visual glitch. Come on. Scrolling through. Yeah, you know what? That might just be a visual glitch. I looked everywhere, except for that one bombable wall spot. Double check. Okay. There is one room I could double check. There is a single room I could double check. But I'm starting to think... Okay, you know what? Let me look through this real quick. I know there's going to be a room that I don't recognize. You're trapped in. Okay, hold on. Is there something on this floor that I missed? Doesn't look like it. There's only a little bit to try. Uh, only a little small section to check out again, but I have a feeling I missed this. Secret room. This guide is even telling me everything. I I honestly think I messed up. I don't see another key anywhere. I think this one was missed. I can't think of another spot I didn't double check. Like, I don't know. 
Granted, I didn't double check that room again, but I thought for sure I got everything there. Alright. Go do double check that room very quick. But I I think I missed it. There's no way I could... Well, hold on. Well, it's not the enemies, that's for sure. Like, if there's something in here, it's not from killing all the enemies. Gonna double check. That's not pushable. Don't know why it's even there. Okay, we're double checking that one room. I think this one was missable. It just was never marked because maybe people didn't realize it was. No one's saying anything about it. Or I missed a key somewhere and I don't know where it's at. Okay. Uh... to check for two hearts. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I, th I think it actually is missable, but it just didn't, maybe people didn't really know. Yeah, I am missing one, like, map. All right. Two heart pieces missing. We want to go here. Might as well try to enter the Chris Houlihan room. I don't know if you have to, like, for some reason, like, the video had to go in here. Maybe it's, like, some sort of room storage or something. I don't know. That. Place a bomb here. it's right over here, I think. I don't know if it would be faster to go through the cave or not. I thought you could just exit. Oh, you can't go out this way. Dang it. 
save and quit. I don't care. Start from the sanctuary. This way. Yeah, I am not sure why the video went into the cave. I don't know why the video I watched went in here, but we're going to anyway. There must be a reason for it. This is basically just performing a glitch, and I don't know, like... I've never done this. Hey, I made it! Okay, so the flute wasn't even needed at all. There's the Chris Hoohan room. My name is Chris Hoolahan. This is my top secret room. Keep it between us, okay. Well, if you wanted a lot of rupees, this is how you do it. It's basically a wrong warp. See, now we're back at Link's house. Sounds like there is a hidden... Wait, is it in here? Actually, you would have to fall from up here to do it. I feel like I did this. Yeah, I did. Okay. Secret hideout. Alright, so maybe... The 15 second minigame sort of one, but I I thought I did that. The next one I want to check is... Okay. So I need to go to Dark World. Luckily, I'm close by to an entrance. Oh, I like how the little Master Swords are not here anymore. Probably because I already have the Master Sword, so it's like, oh, no one's gonna steal it, someone already has it. No one's gonna, like, fall for it. Wait, what can you check? Like, what can you ask for? Uh, you might have an interesting in May I tell you fortune? Sure. You need silver arrows to defeat Ganon. Thanks. Oh, you actually give me a full heal. Good to know. The fortune teller is a way to get a full heal. Interesting. I wonder if he could refill magic too. That would be nice. Okay. I need to go back up here. is right up there. Yeah. I didn't really go up here. Okay, 
there's that one. Oh, okay, I see. I need a hook shot. Can I go to that one? Probably. I should double check. You fall down here. No, you don't. You don't fall down there. No, apparently the magic cape, you could just do that. Okay. One more. Uh, you find a stake card? Oh, I... I'm pretty sure I did that. Yeah, I know I did that one. That one is... I could do this one. I don't think I did that one. Okay, I think I know where the last one is. That one doesn't look familiar to me. the swamp in Misery Mire. Okay. There is another pathway here somewhere. Or another cave, I should say. I already got the one in there. Is it this? been in here. Tell you a story. Sure. Eh, hey, thank you. As a matter of fact, monster magic is making it rain in the swamp. If you can move the air with more force than the monsters, the rain may stop. Don't know what that means, but okay. Oh, wait, something's not right. Oh, magic mirror is needed. Okay, hold on. <laughs> How was I supposed to know? That looked like the perfect spot to use the mirror. Here we go, here's the last one. All hearts have been obtained. Okay, what's left? Let's go ahead and try to fight Ganon again without getting hit. We'll go ahead and try that. Uh, I'm going to need some potions. I have a fairy. I know I can just go to the other fairy and get these for free, but it's fine. Saving. Wait, uh, let's start with. Save and quit. Alright. Now let's try this again. We're gonna try to fight Ganon and beat him without getting hit. Of course, I don't have a full heal. It's, it's easy if you go down this way go to the fairy that's like right here. Jeez. I don't need this. Alright. I 
don't need the laser for damage. It's just more to... Uh, it's just more to, like, be prepared. And I wanted to save all my potions and stuff. I've seen a big... Glazing? Okay, what the hell is glazing mean? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Alright, let's see if we can beat him without getting hit. I'm never with the times. That's the thing you gotta know about me. I'm never with the times. We'll leave it alone. Leave it alone. Let him get his attack. And I got him. Okay. I just kind of wanted to break the tiles. There we go. I can fall through. This will be faster. It's another worth. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Over complimenting, hyping up. Okay. I see. Maybe I heard that term before, but I really don't remember. I don't remember ever hearing that term. But, uh, why do you say that? Why do you say that the Batman fans are, uh, lazing Batman way too much? stuff. Yeah. Okay. He'll always win. He he preps for like a lot of the stuff and he loses like seven out of ten times. Right. I wonder if, for this fight, if spin attacks would be worth it. Yeah, I've always heard the, oh, Bat if Batman has enough prep time, he'll win every fight, because he'll just come up with a strategy to just take out everyone. Uh, I guess I'll say he'll beat Superman, which he's only done half all times compared to the new amounts of times Superman beat Batman. What's well, because, like, Superman is, like, OP. And the only way Batman can beat him is he needs a special rock that's very rare. Come on, how could I see that coming? In this case, it'll probably be faster. I was here, we could basically just save and continue as much as we want.
It's just funny you could get like a cheap shot at Ganon before he can do anything. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth spin attacking. Oh, come on. He's OP even without his powers. He's considered one of the best hand-to-hand -hand combatants. But I always just forget that because it's convenient to the pot for him to be all brawn, no brains. You're talking about Superman? Yeah. Powers, yeah, so... Yeah, Superman, like, with all of his fighting, he wouldn't know how to do some hand-to-hand -hand combat. He wouldn't know how to do some CQC. Okay, that's on me. You know, I am still worried that I'm not going to get this completely done. Cheap shots me from off screen. There we go. And being able to control his immense strength shows discipline. Goku breaks. breaks off the but, yeah, I mean. I'm trying to think of how many times Goku does, like, accidentally destroy a door. It kind of happens every once in a while. Although I haven't really watched Super, but then again, I also almost don't count Super. I feel like out of the no-hit runs, Ganon is the most doable. Out of the three I have to do left. Like, I have a way better chance if I get into that final phase. I mean, he's in the... I mean, yeah, Aquaman's king. I mean, yeah, of course he'd be richer. He probably just doesn't know what to do with his money. And also, Atlantean currency, does that translate well to... What's the currency exchange for Atlantean uh, currency to uh, Gotham Bucks? You know what might be better? If I count the amount of hits I'm able to get on him, and maybe hit him like one less time so he doesn't do the fire bat move. I should count how many times I'm able to hit him. One. 
Seven so far, and he's already on this attack. Okay. Seven hits, and he does this attack. So what happens if I hit him six times? Although I don't know if it would matter. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six. Okay, he's on this move again. If I hit him five times, would that do anything? Okay, I got him. It would get him to throw his uh, spear again, which means I might have more shots to hit him. I don't know. One. Let's try hitting him five times. Two, three, four, five. Throws it again. Batman isn't that great of a superior knight. <laughs> no much. He does respect the Flash a lot. Um, I think this is one of those cases where we just need to hit him a certain amount of times before he goes to his final phase, because he only dies to the silver arrows. Three, four, Total. Oh, I got hit. Sixteen. Okay, he needs to get hit like sixteen times. I should just die. What am I doing? Also, if with the flash, I've seen like he would just like kind of reform his villains. Be like, hey man, like you need to get your life back on track, sort of thing. Or it probably depends on which flash we're talking about. So I think with Ganon, we need to hit him a total of 16 times to get him to that final phase. Hitting him five times here. Four, five. Okay, it's five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Don't know if hitting him matters at this point. Maybe we just need to let him do his thing. Okay, no, we need to be hitting him. We need to be hitting him.
That's it. No hit run. I think we need to get to the Triforce. So yeah, uh, hit him five times, so then he spins his... Uh, he throws his lance again, or his trident. And then just keep hitting him. Try to hit him 16 times before he gets another attack. Then he'll start checking the ground. You still need to make sure to hit him to have him continue to check the ground. Yeah, okay. I had a feeling Ganon wouldn't have been that bad. Okay. There's only five achievements left. I am resetting. I don't... I don't really have that much time. I think right now... We're doing some prep work. On this file. We are gonna get the bottles for the last time. We are gonna upgrade my... No, we are not gonna upgrade my sword. But we are getting the bottles. Five achievements. Luckily, we can have the bottle, so we can save this. I'm not gonna get like, the other heart piece that I could get. There's kind of no point if I'm doing no hit runs. It would only help with Ganon's tower. Unless I do it on my own time. But I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's necessary to get the last couple. Yeah, I want to get the bottles again. We're just kind of doing prep work. Reform Batman villains you know of is Catwoman kinda she's Catwoman was always just kinda here and there, whether she's good or bad. Uh Harley Quinn, but Harley's more like a DC what's up that's basically Jim Ben Deadpool. Yeah, kind of. Once they realized Harley got very popular in the more recent years, then they kinda made her less of a bad guy. It seems like. Although, I haven't seen the full animated series of Batman, you know, that's where she was introduced. So I don't really know if she had her moments in that, in that series. Blame Injustice? Maybe that was the, maybe that was the start of it. start of it all.
makes sense because there, Joker died and she fell in line with the good guys. In support for when, she, when he died. In the game, she rejects Joker after seeing how he's been all this time. Just grew up there because none in the main kind. Right. So, you think it's one of those cases where Injustice gave her a story arc of her basically turning a new leaf. And people like that. People like that uh, version of Harley. But, so then people, so then DC is like, okay, let's make Harley good. Without giving her the character development. Okay. So, we got the prep work for the bottles. We need two bosses to kill. And I need to fill these up. Um... Do we go after Blind, blind, or do we go after Mothra? Because we require two different, uh, either red, it's either red potions or green potions. I could do one of each. I could do one of each potion. Just a reset after I died of blind, so Start with that. Okay. I do not have time to continue. However, I only got one more streaming day for this. I am going to save and quit. Okay. There's a second Harley fan base that prefers the older Harley, you know, when she was evil. Yeah, probably. You know, the original fans before she got changed. Okay. So. Let's quickly go through what I'm missing. It's not much. Defeat Mothra without getting hit. Blind without getting hit. Get all the maps and compasses. All treasure chests in Ganon's Tower. Complete Ganon's Tower without entering... While possessing a sword, exiting, or dying. You must do it all in one attempt. Harley sucks. Well, except Injustice Harley. She's alright. Well, that's because they actually had a story in mind for that version of Harley. You know, they actually came in with an idea of, of a character arc for her in mind in that one. And later on, they just kind of skipped the character arc and just have her be good. So, we got these five left. Uh, these three have to be done at the same time. These two are going to be the hard ones. So here's what I'm thinking. I could create another backup save. And I set that save up to where I could do the Ganon Tower if I wanted to. Just in case we want to work on one thing or another. It's actually probably a good idea to get a backup save ready, anyway. Um, the other idea for it is I can use this save and get a stronger sword to fight off Mothra and Blind, but Blind doesn't need it, and we're going to try to use the Fire Rod for Mothra anyway. So, if I make a backup save... On my own time, I might set it up to where we can start the Ganon's Tower bit. Which basically just means on my own time, I beat the other two. Kind of like what we did earlier. I got one more day. One more stream day to try to get this done before my break. She's too much like Deadpool in the comics. 
Injustice, she's kind of like that, but she does heroic stuff that portrays the, her real footage. Yeah. Let's make a backup save. Hell, I can make one for here, too. If I wanted to. Alright. On my own time, this save, I am going to beat the two bosses. And I am going to... Actually, that's all I'm going to do is just beat the two bosses. Maybe use up my bottles in a different way to where... I think I probably just only need, like, one blue potion. And maybe the rest be fairies. No, I could do one blue potion, one green potion, two fairies, and that'd probably be good. And I could have that prepped and ready to go for Ganon's Tower. Uh... Just in case we're like, oh, I'm having trouble with Blind and Mothra. Let's try Ganon's Tower for a bit. But I'm going to try to get those five done tomorrow. I I hope I can get it done tomorrow, but that's when I can. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing this, these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link to the about page. Again... Tomorrow, I got one attempt, and then after that, I'm gone for two weeks. But I have I have to do this. I have to try tomorrow, so... Anyway, have a good day. Later.